and welcome back to my channel. It's Coach Michelle Hong. Today I'm sharing my Trader Joe's grocery haul. As you can see, I have so much on the table, but I'm gonna unravel it all and we're gonna reverse backwards and go over every single one of these items. So let's get into it. I'm so excited to share this and I actually haven't opened up too much about nutrition and kind of like my fitness journey um, because I feel like it has been a very sensitive subject for me for a really long time. As a figure skater, I dealt with a lot of body image issues and I had a hard time having a good relationship with food. And later on, I started to have a bad relationship with fitness too. I saw the gym as a place to lose weight or I saw food as more of an enemy than something that was gonna fuel my body. And I'm gonna go down into that narrative later down the line, but for right now, this is more of a fun grocery haul. I'm here to share with you what's going on with my journey and how right now I'm trying my best to have the most kind of fulfilling and balanced lifestyle as I can. I'm incorporating fitness into my daily life and I am really trying to navigate the space of really taking care of myself because for so long, and especially for the past 4.5 years, I have dedicated my life to helping others and coaching my students. And through that, I've been utilizing my energy and my body to help inspire other people. So doing choreography, skating, doing workouts, I've been doing that for others, but I actually haven't done any of that for myself in a routine way. So honestly, 2021 is the year that I'm gonna make that shift. I've been incorporating fitness and having a better understanding of what my body needs um, for the past three months. So I kind of like started that at the tail end of 2020. So I'm inviting you in on my journey and I hope that these grocery hauls are an inspo for you. It doesn't mean that you should be eating these things. It doesn't mean that if you want to um, achieve a certain goal or a certain um, body type that you need to be eating these things. This is what I'm doing for my body and I highly encourage you all if you have specific nutrition goals or you have specific um, you know, fitness goals, then you can check in with a nutritionist or a personal trainer to help you. And for me, I'm just here for inspiration. So I love you all so much and I can't wait to show you what I got. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm really excited. I feel like this year I'm going to be a lot more consistent on YouTube like, I, like I've expressed before. And I can't wait to continue this journey with you all to help you become better skaters and better people. So I love you all so much and let's get into it. I'm trying to increase my protein so in the morning time um, almonds can fill me up and then I also got some cauliflower pancakes I also want to increase my veggie intake um, tilapia is also a good source of protein and I heard that this one is really tasty so this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna try this I love like chives I'm not a coffee person so chai tea and matcha green teas are my just like just like a warm morning start and I love having just a cup of that or I like to choose like different types of teas so this one is one of my favorites it's a, um, a red refresh herbal tea and it has a zesty blend of hibiscus lemongrass peppermint orange peel and wild cherry bark like it, it just looks like Hawaii, honestly. Um, and then also I like to indulge on some hot chocolate in the evening time. And I like to put like light whipped cream um, because it's winter still. I know it's January, but I consider it winter. 
English breakfast tea, another option for me in the morning times. I love just waking up to something warm. Um, so yeah, that's the first bag. Um, second bag, I have some green beans. I can roast these in my um, air fryer, super simple. And um, they're really easy, ready to eat. Good source of veggies for myself. I have some shredded cheese. Uh, I like cheddar, cheddar I'm a simple gal. Um, this is a grainless granola. I'm excited to try this out. I have Greek yogurt to go with this. I think that um, I need something like filling in the mornings. That's something that I struggle with sometimes because I'm so busy and I like either drink, just drink tea or just drink a matcha and then like go straight to work. But I'm really trying to work on filling myself up so I can sustain my entire day, especially because I've started to work out more. Uh, for the past three months, I've been incorporating a lot of endurance training, running into my routine, and in addition to that, weight training and being more active for my own lifestyle. Whereas before, I feel like I was active in my work and coaching and doing choreography for my students and being on the ice, but that was always serving someone else. And that's the same for when I make videos as well. Like I'm helping all of you, but I'm trying to take time to nourish my soul and nourish my body to make myself feel the endorphins and really have fun with what I'm doing. So fitness is a really strong passion of mine that I've tended to kind of have a uh, like a up and down journey with because of kind of the combination of how uh, the gym is correlated to my body weight and my body image and things like that that have been a traumatic part of my figure skating life but I could open up about that more in a different video um, I've shared a little bit here and there on my IG and I think I'm gonna start to like sit down and kind of unravel that with you all because I know that in the figure skating world a lot of people deal with that. Um, but anyways, <laughs> going on a tangent, these are my granola, uh, grainless granola clusters and it has um, sweet and salty clusters made with almonds, coconut, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. So I'm super stoked to try this out. These are all from Trader Joe's by the way, Trader Joe's and the bomb. I have some frozen berries. I love frozen like fruits so that I can make my smoothies super easily. I also have some grilled chicken strips. This is just for like the simple on the go. I also do have like fresh chicken as well um, that I purchased, but this is just something simple for when I don't have time to like slice it up, cut it up. But grilled chicken strips, I can add this to a salad or I can put this in any of my dishes um, to add more protein. Oh my goodness, these are so good. I got this burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread. So simple, my friend Donna got me hooked to these. Um, it's like a really like, easy treat. I cut this in half and then I put it into the air fryer. So simple, so yummy. It's like you're going to an Italian restaurant, really. Um, and then I have more frozen fruits. I have pineapple. Mangoes. I love mangoes. This is for the tropical feel. And then I have baked potatoes. Baked potatoes are Super easy, I put these also in the air fryer and I basically make mini baked potatoes. I slice them in half, I put like um, light sour cream, I put like my favorite cheese, some bacon bits, and it's just so yummy, especially when I have long run days. So if I run six miles, I definitely want to carb it, load, and make sure that I'm filled up from all the running that I did. Um, and ooh, my table is getting filled. And this is my last big um, bag. I have spinach. Spinach is so easy to incorporate into like my everyday. I love putting a handful of this into my smoothies. Boom, getting a serving of veggies out of the way. I don't even taste it. 
Of course, kettle corn. This is like such an easy, like sweet, salty treat if I ever have a sweet tooth. Um, and just like something that I wanna munch on whenever I am feeling a little bit um, hungry. And then I have some almond milk. Almond milk is um, super awesome alternative for me instead of regular milk because regular milk kind of makes my stomach unsettled. I don't know, let me know in the comment section below if you ever feel like that in terms of regular milk. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. I like to have vanilla um, just to have that kick of sweetness, even though this is unsweetened, but having that vanilla flavor gives it that like, hmm, tastiness. Um, I got bananas, everybody loves bananas. That potassium and just like that simple fruit that you could grab on the go, like just look at it. It has a peel, like everybody could just put this in their car, boom, before practice, easy. I have refried beans when I wanna make my tacos, taco, taco, tacos. And then I have some um, ground kosher beef. I like to mix up my meats. I like chicken, I like beef, I like turkey. Um, get that protein in. I have this yummy focaccia bread. Ooh, look at this. And it has um, tomato and Parmesan on it. Yum, yum, yum. I have some grapes. Grapes, grapes, grapes. And blueberries. I love blueberries. I love adding them to my Greek yogurt. I like adding them to my smoothies. I like just eating them as a snack. Super easy. I have some marinara. Um, I like to use this as a snack with my focaccia bread. And um, this is super simple. I could use this for pastas. I could use this for dips um, and all that great stuff. Sometimes I even put, like I make a fried egg or I make scrambled eggs and I add some marinara to it for that flavor. And then lastly, I got some sweet and spicy mustard sauce. Um, I'm gonna try to put this on my paninis and stuff like that. So anyways, that is my grocery haul. I hope that you enjoyed. I look forward to sharing more of my lifestyle, my journey with you all, because I'm not just a coach, I'm also a human being too, so I wanna show that side of myself. And I wanna know what you're interested in seeing next. Let me know in the comment section below what type of video you're looking for or if you have any questions regarding lifestyle, fitness, health, figure skating, all that jazz. And I'm here to answer all of your questions. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more figure skating content, more lifestyle content, and more just positivity that will help brighten your day. So I can't wait to see you in my next video and I'll catch you then soon. Bye.